guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about CAT and what that meeting is with CBER. Someone actually reached out to me asking to advise on this meeting, and I thought that it would be a great intro into my regulatory intel sub-series. I'm no longer gonna be doing regulatory, affa uh, regulatory affairs explained series. I'm actually gonna move over to a different platform um, and put together a course. I said this in another video where I'll be focusing on a med device course and a regulatory drug course for those who are not qualified to sit for wraps. I think it's just easier to do a more concentrated uh, course on a different platform. So stay tuned for that. I'll post information in um, a video whenever it's ready. And also stay tuned for the community post. Make sure you're following me on TikTok, Instagram, every social media platform because when the course is ready, I'm going to broadcast it on all of those mediums. CAT stands for CBER Advanced Technologies Team. And CBER, as we talked about, is the center for biologics evaluations research, but it's basically where biologics go and most biologics are regulated by CBER. So I'm gonna to read to you the exact definition from the FDA's website on what CAT actually stands, or what the primary focus of CAT is. CAT's primary focus is on novel technologies that have significant impact on product development, manufacturing process and control control strategies. A sponsor pursues a meeting with CAT only if the sponsor has questions about the following topics. And I'm gonna get into that, but before I do, I wanted to go back and really highlight the premise of this CAT meeting. The purpose of CAT is for you to come with some sort of technology, something so novel and advanced that it's going to revolutionize how products across multiple areas so if you're a cellular therapy you're coming with something so novel that it's going to revolutionize how all cellular therapy products are manufactured or processed or managed i think a lot of sponsors try to go to different fda meetings and like that's part of what regulatory strategy is is finding these loopholes to get guidance or advice from the fda but you don't want to waste the fda's time honestly so trying to find a way to go to a meeting where you don't really qualify for it they're just either going to deny you which wasted your time when you could have been pursuing something else i normally always recommend interact interact is a great place to start because most people can go when they're really early in the development process and you're trying to figure out what non-clinical studies you need to do, what animal model to choose, do you have enough evidence to move forward? But again, and I'll cover this in another video, Interact is also one of those nuancy things where if you come with too much information, they may deny your meeting. But anyway, back to CAT. The top three reasons sponsors will request a meeting with CAT is number one, your innovative product selection. Be able to have this introductory conversation with the FDA on which product makes the most sense to pursue. Keyword I think people need to really pay attention to is innovative. And everyone thinks they have a novel product. Everyone thinks their product is novel. But a good rule of thumb is if the products that you're trying to choose among or the product you're trying to select are products that have never been approved before, then you could say that those are novel or really innovative products. Novel technologies go back to the manufacturing process. Do you have a novel technology that's gonna revolutionize how products are manufactured and controlled? Another question you might have where you wanna pursue a meeting with CAT is if you have just general non-product specific questions, which means don't go to this meeting having specific product development questions. That is what Interact is for. That is what a pre-IND meeting is for. You're not going to a CAT meeting to talk about just things that are specific to the development of your product. I'm gonna go there with questions that are about your novel technology, about your novel asset, that again are gonna impact a product class. So how do you request this meeting? You actually just email the FDA and there's a specific email you send it to and it is called industry.biologics at fda.hhs.gov. This is also on the FDA's website and I'm gonna put the link down below so that you can go to this actual page where most of this information, if not all of this information is presented. So there are four things you need to do um, when you're sending this email to request your meeting. The first thing is to write a brief description on your technology or your product class. The second thing you're gonna do is write a brief explanation on why your product or technology is not 
novel? Why is it innovative? Let's go back to the requirements of why you would pursue this meeting. How is it going to change things for other products, for a product class? How is it going to revolutionize how things are already being done? That's the way I would see pursuing a meeting with the CBER Advanced Technologies team. Also, again, something I didn't even note. Some people who have a drug might be thinking, let me go pursue this cat meeting. No, CBER. Meaning it's a product that's regulated by CBER. The other thing you do, you're do, you going to do is you're going to write a brief description on the impact your technology or product is going to have on improving biologic product characterization, manufacturing, control, safety, equity, quality. All the things I've been saying in this video echoing is the fact that whatever you're bringing to this meeting is going to change something for biologics. The last thing you're going to do is write a summary on the manufacturing or development plan and you're going to list any questions you may have that will suffer regulatory scrutiny or technical challenges or just challenges in implementing in general. So during that meeting you and the CAT team will work to address those questions that you put in your email. Timelines for this meeting. Timelines actually aren't specified. What I presume is once you send the email you'll like get a response back in like 30 days maybe in two weeks and then they'll set the meeting date for you I don't know if it's immediate I don't know if it's in a month's time 60 days 90 days I don't know but for me what I would assume is the simple fact that you're working with a team that's trying to improve um, how biologics are researched how biologics are manufactured I would assume that they're going to try and schedule a meeting with you quite quickly. I think a, a good thing to pay attention to as well is if you can't answer any of those four questions, the top two are easy, but if you can't answer one of those questions, you likely may not need to pursue a CAP meeting. I hope you found this video helpful and a great start to this regulatory intel series. If there's any other topics that you're really interested in, make sure you leave comments down below. If there's any meetings you want me to further talk about, I will be talking about Interact, just wait, um, and free ID as well. Uh, just make sure you leave comments down below. Make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss when I post my next video. Until next time, guys. Bye.